Hey everyone, Christian back here with another Palm review, and I'm going to be a little more thorough in my description. I'm going to try, I naturally talk fast and try and explain as much as I can in as short a time as possible. So I'm going to try and <clears throat> be a little more thorough here with my uh, plant identification. So um, right here in front of me is a popular palm species around the world for good and for bad. Now, uh, this is the African oil palm, Elaeus giensis, and it is native to Central Africa, Sub-Saharan Africa, and it is a widely cultivated palm. Now, it is widely, back in the 19th and 20th century, this was a very popular landscape palm um, in the tropics and part of the subtropics. Uh, it is uh, easy to grow. It doesn't require a lot of maintenance. Um, but it does, <clears throat> it does, however, uh, it doesn't require a lot of maintenance to, to grow well. It does require a lot of maintenance to look well. And this is a, a decent size. This is actually considered, I consider it mature because it is flowering. In fact, these palms start to flower as soon as they start to form a fat base. And uh, I'll get a little close up so you can see the old uh, uh, flower bases. So being native to Africa, this is widely cultivated for, this is probably the most cultivated palm for palm oil. And when I say that there's some disadvantages to the cultivation of this plant, it's because it is used as the primary um, palm for oil production, palm oil production in Southeast Asia. And you can look up on the internet, uh, African oil palm cultivation. Uh, the island of Borneo, which is just uh, southeast of Thailand and south of the Philippines, um, it is, you know, partially... Uh, part in Malaysia, part in Indonesia, I believe that's, it's split in half. Uh, it has been, recently been stripped quite a bit of its rainforest for replanting of these palms for the purpose of oil production. In fact, there's a, I have an old book from the 60s that says the, how to cultivate oil palms for commercial production in Asia. So it's, you know, and it's been more popular lately. If you look at a, at a, box of uh, tons of food at your grocery store, ones that you would think would have oil and oil as a base in it, um, you'll see palm oil in almost everything and tons of cereals, uh, canned foods. Uh, just look on the back and be surprised. And this is the, the palm that primarily the oil comes from. It's pressed from the seed and uh, manufactured. And unfortunately, it has cause the deforestation of many areas and you would think well you know a palm is a good replanting technique it really isn't uh you know once once a land goes barren and doesn't have the ability to hold itself the, the whole ecosystem gets kind of messed up so anyway let's get back to the palm itself now um it is a relatively fast grower i couldn't tell you how old this is this one is exactly but i'd say this is probably six seven years old so pretty big plant um, it's probably about 15 to 18 feet tall and it does hold a huge crown and uh, it, it keeps that crown. In fact, it has a full leaf crown it'll hold when it's older. It actually looks like a, uh, kind of looks like a cross between a coconut and a queen when it's older, but uh, not as pretty, I would say. Now, uh, it is rather cold sensitive, but it's hard to kill. So when I say that, I mean... Um, a, f a frost will definitely burn the leaves, or a freeze will, I should say. Frost probably wouldn't do a whole lot. A freeze would, would burn the leaves if it hits 32, if, or if, it, you know, if 32 degrees gets to it. However, killing the palm outright requires quite a bit of cold. So it's probably leaf hardy to zone 10, but actually um, stem hardy to zone 9. So because I've seen these planted in uh, Sarasota and Tampa, and they do survive there. Uh, and, and, and they do, they do look pretty well. Uh, and I, there's some around here that have 10, 20 feet of wood. And this was a popular cultivated, um, palm in Miami during the 20th century. It was brought over from other areas, uh, specifically Asia and Africa. And you can see old specimens of this plant growing in old parts of Miami. If you see one of these plants, as one of these palms growing in a Miami garden, you know, it's old because they really haven't been growing this plant commercially in South Florida for any real reason for at least 35 years 
because of the the effects of the unfortunately this palm produces a lot of leaf litter these large leaves they all have to be trimmed it's it's extremely spiny now let's get a little close up here it's not i mean not extremely but it does have some pretty harsh thorns if those were to go through your skin they, they would definitely rip uh your it would definitely rip your skin wide open and uh it's not something you want to run your hand across but this, the spines are very uh, stiff they, and they are razor sharp um, and so uh, as a result it's just not a very it, when you get up close it's not a very friendly plant palm but uh, it looks good from afar now if you look right here that's an old flower back bracked they're very small they, they're tight up against the crown um, I'm not sure exactly why but it does give it some protection from say like animals so they tend to drop real close by and there's some actually some old flower necrotic flower um, uh, petty, petals, I, I, I'm not sure exactly um, what that is, but it looks like it could be uh, a, uh, a bad, uh, a flowering gone bad. I mean, this one opened and it kind of is dry. It is dried up flowers for the most part. So uh, this one here, looking for one that might be promising to produce seed. It, it may not, it does not really do well with pollination the first few years, and then as it gets older, it seems to do better. And then this is typical of a lot of palms where the first time it ends up uh, flowering doesn't necessarily mean that you're gonna get a lot of seed in fact it's his first time it just it tends to abort seed uh, quite often and um, so as a result you it's not that you want the seed anyway I don't think that anyone really wants to grow this palm commercially or m most of my friends in the nursery business don't really grow this uh, plant to sell they might have one or two in their yard just for the sake of having it but it does take up a lot of room as you can see it has about the base there, including the petiole base, is probably two and a half feet, almost, you know, pushing almost one meter. Um, and so, as a result, it's not really the best palm these days for growing as a landscape uh, opportunity. But if you see one around, they are, they are pretty, and if they're there, you know, they're nice to take a look at. They provide quite a bit of shade, and they are a staple of the tropics, the African tropics and unfortunately becoming a staple of the Asian tropics just through cultivation. So um, the seeds are going to be rather, they're going to be rather on the uh, larger side, uh, almost the size of a foxtail seed, elliptical. I think the base is flat. I haven't seen a, I can't remember, haven't seen a seed in a while. Um, I've never actually germinated them, but uh, they're, they're, they're pretty tough and uh, just high heat and, uh, uh, you know, a fast draining media will Grow them, but unfortunately they do come up as volunteers around where they do drop so they are pretty easy to germinate so anyways that's going to be it for the african oil palm um hope you enjoyed it uh leave a comment if you have any questions and hope you watch more of these videos go ahead and subscribe if you if you want to see more palm videos and have a nice evening